keeps a menagerie of animals in his apartment that includes snakes, tarantulas, a fish tank of piranhas. You may have heard the story about the guest who tried to pet one of them. An African gray parrot with a large vocabulary whose perch or spa, as some may refer to it, occupies the largest space in the apartment. And a pig, although he became problematic and had to leave. When you visit his studio, you may be greeted by a bevy of Madagascar hissing cockroaches in a cage, although that doesn't seem to be a big concern when the snake is freely roaming about. <laughs> the long and the short of it is, Knox is interested in everything. He studied at the league on the GI Bill with Will Barnett, Bakla Bimichil, and Morris Pander. And as an instructor, he's been enlightening his students at the league since 1972. Every Tuesday and Thursday, we spend about a half hour together before he goes to teach. Our conversations range from cooking, he's also a remarkable chef, to the structure of the universe and everything in between. But when talking with Knox, there is no in between. Whether we're comparing recipes or trying to fathom the human condition, Everything is of equal importance and gets undivided attention. It's the conversation that's sacrosanct. His talks on art are legendary. Anyone who has heard not speak about the paintings of Cezanne, Titian, Picasso, Velasquez, Van Eyck, Franz Howells, or Matisse never thinks about art the same way thereafter. He will point out how radically different the four corners of each of the paintings are drawn and analyze the relationship of each component of work, summing it up as a dance of intelligence created by straight forms next to curve, large to small, and the spaces in between. He will point out how white illuminates color and cool colors affect warm tones and vice versa. Not to draw geometric diagrams on top of reproductions to prove their underlying structure of the painting, revealing hidden complexities and subtle changes. He will talk with equal authority on great Byzantine and Islamic art, from Persian miniatures to the decoration of the great Moorish palaces, as well as Chinese and Japanese painting, print making, and calligraphy. Speaking at the cloisters about the unicorn tapestries he's been studying since childhood, he will go over every detail of each one of them, the intricacies of the foliage and the configuration of the hunter's spears. Every shape, every line is vital to the success of the entire work. And Knox demonstrates that in his own painting. In his ongoing series using the theme of woman, he creates a dazzling array of forms that at first glance just vaguely reference the subject. Links here, links there, rests someplace else. But as Knox will tell you, that's not what the subject is. The subject of art is art. Nothing is predictable. Everything is new, alive, and fresh. The viewer is suddenly aware of the unknown and is charged by that awareness. That's not. That's wow. art. Wow. Wow, wow. <laughs> yeah. Of course, such an indomitable spirit can have moments of volatility. <laughs> there are artists, in fact many, that Knox will not talk about. And he will not hesitate to irreverently express his disdain for those individuals. <laughs> Anyone who knows him or has taken his class for more than a week knows never to attempt to extol the virtues of the following in his presence. <laughs> Caravaggio, Monet, Durer, Bruegel, Van Dyke, Rivera, Pollock, Rocco, Nolda, Homer, Kandinsky, Gauguin, Sargent, Whistler, all the pop artists, all British artists, with special emphasis on Turner and Bacon. <laughs> all Russian artists, and anyone who wielded a brush during the Florentine Renaissance, just to name a few. <laughs> will evoke a response that would make a sailor blush. 
<laughs> and he holds punches for no one. As I witnessed when he told the late, great, our friend Frank Mason, that he thought the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel was, and I quote, the biggest piece of shit ever came. <laughs> Anyone who wants to know Frank's response can see the answer. <laughs> and while there was no bloodshed at the encounter, I did make sure that all heavy objects were that free. Criminal justice. <coughs> all in all, the contribution Knox Mark continues to make to art and to the league has been extraordinary. This has been a journey of constant discovery. For our, forever finding new things and work he's been studying for decades and in his own paintings, some of which he has spent years working on. And he'll share those epiphanies with his class. I can't believe it. I can't believe how good it is. But of course we believe it. That's not. That's our. That's not. Wow. Hey. Ira, we thought you weren't listening. <laughs> oh, no. I ain't no yeah. Join us at the podium. Memorial Medal to Knox Martin.
Now I'd like to introduce Richard Heinrich. We'll give you an introduction about Storm King and David R. Collins.